Yo, what is up, YouTube? I'm Blitz5, and today I want to talk about Battleborn and the status of the game a month after it's been released. So today, as I'm recording this video, it's June 5th, 2016. Battleborn was released on May 3rd, 2016, so basically a month later. I want to talk about how the game's going, what I think about it. Is Battleborn dead? What's going on? Why aren't people playing it? Some interesting things I'm noticing on Twitch right now that are making me pretty depressed and just want to move on from playing this game, even though I'm having so much fun. I think it's an amazing video game. So I've been creating content for Battleborn. Not a whole lot. I've been playing the game a lot. Maybe not a lot in quantity, but I play it every day, even if it's a match. A match, whether it's single player or multiplayer, can usually be up to like a half hour. That's just like how long each match is so it's because it's this MOBA style gameplay like League of Legends. Which is fine, but sometimes I only have time to play one game a night. But I've been really into the game. It's amazing. It's, it's such a good game, but only a couple of my friends have it. All that stuff. So today I was streaming the game, and I went on Twitch, and I noticed, I'm like, let me see what's going on here. I want to see how many people are streaming this game. So I went into the browse games here. I'm going to throw it up on the screen. You could see that, um, let me just make sure I'm recording this, okay. You could see that League of Legends is always going to be on top, especially when it's like the weekend, there's tournaments and stuff like that, and LCS is on. 180,000 views, roughly, viewers. Then you have Hearthstone, Counter-Strike, Overwatch is coming up on the scene, huge, Dota as you'd expect, and then FIFA. And what's hilarious is this Barbie game, which is, I'd really love to see why that's like so popular right now. But anyways, you expect all of these games pretty much to be in the top, right? So then we're scrolling down, I'm looking for... For Battleborn, the division is still there. No Battleborn, all stuff. What's sad is, what, let's just get to the point that we see Borderlands 2 here has 3,000 viewers. Let's control F. Battleborn doesn't even come up right now in the control F function here. We have to go all the way down, open, keep opening up the new pages here. Let's see. Battleborn is at 165 viewers right now, June 15th. 2 12 p.m. 165 viewers. Let's open this up in a new tab so we can see. So Battleborn just came out a month ago, and all of these games we're talking about are above it. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 has more viewers. Guitar Hero 3 has more viewers. All of these games. Age of Empires 2 has more viewers, okay? And oh, we get it, like some of these games have cult followings or they're more fun. I mean, they've been out for longer, they have a bigger fan base. But Borderlands, which is basically what Gearbox kind of set off, it's like a Borderlands game that you expect the crowd from Borderlands to be playing Battleborn, has 3,127 viewers. They have roughly 3,000 more viewers than Battleborn. And to me, this is just an awful, awful sign. 165 viewers. It's just terrible. Look at the things directly next to it. Star Wars Battlefront, Super Mario Brothers 3, Yakuza, Stardew Valley, Dragon Ball Z. It's just, it's, it's mind boggling to me. And it's super unfortunate that this game is struggling so bad. So let, let's go into the actual people that are streaming. So obviously the first couple people are going to have the biggest viewers. So maybe a Battleborn streamer isn't on right now. Let's give it the benefit of the doubt. Maybe there's a really popular Battleborn streamer that will pull up, you know, a couple hundred views. Or maybe a pretty prominent YouTuber could come over and play Battleborn. And I'm sure it'll prop the number up maybe to a couple hundred or even a thousand. But right now we're at. Let's see, we're one, two, three, four, five boxes across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight times five is 40 minus one. So we're at 39 people streaming. Half these people, you know, are kind of like me, new YouTubers, have one to zero views. Everybody else here, this, this is just crazy to me. I don't even know what to say. It sucks because the game... The game is so much fun, but the audience just isn't there. And this is something that people talked about from the beginning that, you know, wasn't advertised and all that stuff. And normally, you know, I would care about that. Like, I would be like, man, I'm not going to waste my time playing this game. But it looked like it was really fun. It's supposed to be a MOBA. And there's so much confusion between Overwatch and Battleborn. It's, like, frustrating. I, you know, this was, like, a month ago. Everyone was trying to figure out, like, you know, a month ago, two months ago. 
what's the difference between the game? Is there a difference? And people still don't really understand the difference. And then now that Overwatch is out, it's just completely blown away Battleborn. And like I was starting to say before is that normally when I play a video game, I'm into the multiplayer. So I don't like to invest my time in a game that's not very popular because I play the multiplayer and I don't want the game to die out. And I know that if you want to support a game that's not as big or like an indie game or, or a new title like Battleborn, it's like a new title in the series. Well, Overwatch is as well, but you know what I mean? Then you kind of have to support your game and play it. So that's what I've been doing. I'm like, Battleborn is definitely like the underdog here, but I'm going to play, make YouTube content, support the game, all this stuff, and hope that it gets more popular with time. Kind of like a cult following. Like, I, I, it's been a lot of word of mouth. Like, I've been telling my friends it's so much fun. It is. It's an amazing game. A lot of people have been doing the same thing. The Reddit community has been growing, and a lot of people are doing the same thing. But it's super discouraging when you go online and you see numbers like this that only 165 people are viewing the game. And not that people need to view the game that you're playing, but it, it kind of just is a, it shows how big the community is. I don't care if anybody watches that I play or, or how many people are on Twitch really, but what I care about is how many people are playing the game and this shows how many people are interested in the game. And that's what I do care about because if nobody's playing the game, then the community is going to suck and the, the game is eventually going to fall into the wayside. So even if you love the game and play it every day, there's going to be no one to play it against. And even now, I can notice that I'm level 30 in the game and you're supposed to get matched to people near your level. And I'm getting matched to people who are any level from like level two to 177, like the match is just all over the place because they're doing their best just to get a game mode going. And then now with the different kinds of multiplayer modes and campaign, it's gonna dilute the player base even more. And this was an issue when the game first came out, but a month later, it's becoming an issue and some queue times are taking a lot longer than people would originally expect. So it's just super unfortunate because this game is so much fun. I, I actually haven't been in a situation like this in such a long, such a long time where I wanted to play a game that nobody else was really that interested in. And it's just sad to me that people don't understand what the game is all about at all. And I guess that can really only blame Gearbox and 2K Games, the creator of Battleborn. It's just unfortunate. Uh, I definitely could stick around playing with it, but like I said, not a lot of my friends play it. There's not like a ranked mode. The competitive scene isn't going to be that big. And Overwatch doesn't really seem like the game for me because I've played so many games like Overwatch in the past and it's kind of like a Call of Duty feel, but the community is already so big because Blizzard is backing it. It was advertised everywhere. People know that Overwatch is coming out for years or it feels like years that they've been like teasing this game called Overwatch and now it's finally here and I'm kind of missed the boat on it. And normally my policy is I only play games that are the most popular. That's why I like playing League of Legends and Call of Duty because you know the community is already there and I kind of equate that to being like playing basketball. I like to go outside and play basketball. The game never really changes. Maybe it evolves. Your strategy evolves. But every time you play, it's different. And every time, if I don't play basketball for a year and I go outside and play basketball, the game is going to be the same. I might be a little rusty, but it's the same kind of thing. I can go watch it on TV. But then if you – it's kind of like that with video games. Like I am a League of Legends player. I know that I can go back on League of Legends. It's got a huge community. I'll be a little rusty, but then I can play, and I can pick it up just like basketball. It's taken seriously. There's a ranked league and all that stuff. And games like when you when you play a random game, for me, if you play multiplayer, like The Division, playing multiplayer Division or like even multiplayer Battleborn, a month from now, I probably won't be playing Battleborn, and all that time will be wasted. It was like I was – and it's basically like if you go outside and you play basketball with your feet, it's a new game that everybody plays basketball with their feet. And you get, you know, 100 people to play it. But then the next day there's 90. And then the next week there's 80. And then eventually nobody played it. Then why did you waste your time learning how to play basketball with your feet? And maybe that's a crazy analogy, but that's how I feel when I play video games that are multiplayer. Because you're not playing for the story. You're playing for the competitiveness of it and to get better at the game. But then why are you playing if the game isn't going to last for a long time. And that's something that I struggle with, and that's why I like to stick with Call of Duty. Even though there's a new game every year, it's the same kind of thing. It's like the NBA every year. Same kind of thing every year, but it's just got a different title to it. And obviously there are some small changes. But anyways, I don't want to make this video last on forever. I could talk about this for literally forever, but unfortunately I think Battleborn is dead, and I hate to say it, but it's, it's a dead game. It's not really going anywhere. I don't feel compelled to play it. It's so much fun, and I have so much fun playing it, but I don't, I'm don't. i losing my willingness to play because of how many people don't have it, how many of my friends don't have it, and and just the, the overall 
worthiness and like lasting of the game. I don't I don't really know how to put it, but it's just a shame because it's so much fun. But I'm losing my will to play the game, and I don't want to waste my time playing a game that's going to disappear into the abyss, which is so unfortunate. But you know, I'll stick around and play it with my friends every once in a while, and, and and hop on and maybe stream it. Who knows? Maybe the game will stay where it's at and kind of kind of pick up if some people from Overwatch move on, or they they keep doing their Battleborn game sales. But for now, it's very concerning, and I I don't say that I'd have to put a stake in it or that you can put a stake in it and Battleborn is dead completely. But man, it's on its last life and it's only a month later, which is super unfortunate. Bad timing going against Overwatch, bad marketing, not enough advertisement, and just unfortunate that not enough people grab that game and the community just isn't there. Ah, it sucks. What are you going to do? Anyways, so now I have to decide, am I going to buy Overwatch? What am I going to be doing with my time gaming? I still have to beat Doom. And I never beat Far Cry, so Far Cry Primal. So we'll see. Or I could just go back and play League of Legends and Hearthstone. The two games that will probably be around for forever now. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you made it this far, please let me know. Give a like or thumbs up or subscribe to my page. Be good to know if anybody made it this far into the video. I know it's kind of on a random topic. Well, if the Twitch community is any bearing on who's going to watch this video oh there's only 165 people in the world watching twitch battleborn that i don't know how many people are going to watch this youtube video so we shall see as always i'm blitz5 thank you for watching check out my other content and we'll see if i get overwatch and post some of that soon i'm out peace